Operation Seymour. As you know, we are uh, bringing a task force of 50 officers from uh, several of our other regions to work here on the Gold Coast for the next month, uh, targeting uh, antisocial behaviour, people who have no respect for uh, the rights and, and liberties of other people, um, and certainly hoons. Um, we'll be targeting uh, through intelligence-based uh, information uh, anywhere from basically uh, the Gold Coast District and Coomera District. So that's almost been laid down to the, uh, to the New South Wales border. Um, obviously, uh, we know that most people in this area are quite law-abiding. There are those few, though, who are intent on making things hard and bad for the rest of the community, and they will be the people that uh, our task force will be targeting over the next uh, over the next month. I might hand over to Assistant Commissioner Paul Wilson, um, who will also give you some details of uh, what's been happening here on the coast of recent times, uh, and also comment on uh, Operation C. Thanks very much, Commissioner. Uh, overnight, we've had a, a 25 arrests in Surface Paradise, which is a, a normal night for Surface Paradise now policing. Uh, and looking forward to the briefing at 6pm tonight when the 50 extra police arrive. Uh, they will be deployed in all areas other than the Surface Paradise nightclub precinct. Oops, oh, sorry, can I stop you? Can you take your glasses off? We're just getting everyone's reflections. Sorry. That's okay. That's better. All right. Relax. Start again. Yeah, that'll be great. Okay. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this afternoon. Um, start all over again. Sorry about that. Overnight at Surface Paradise, there has been 25 arrests, uh, which is a normal night in Surface Paradise. Unfortunately, there has been an assault and rob of a young lady uh, in the vicinity of Varsity Lakes, which my detectives are working on now and hopeful for a breakthrough in that matter later today. The other matter at uh, Varsity Lakes in recent days with the young gentleman being unlawfully wounded. He is recovering well and detectives are working through in relation to some uh, leads in relation to that investigation. In relation to the investigation of the lady discovered in the Albert River, um, inquiries are continuing there and we're also hopeful for a breakthrough uh, in relation to that matter and at this point in time that matter does appear to be non-suspicious. But at this point, we're still uh, investigating the circumstances surrounding the tragedy of that lady being found uh, deceased in the, the river. But tonight, we will have a six o'clock briefing with the 50 extra police, and those police will be deployed, as the Commissioner said, uh, between Coomera and Gold Coast districts. They will be in areas other than the Surface Paradise nightclub precinct, and they will be addressing antisocial behaviour that exists in the community. These police will be specifically targeted targeting those types of offences and it will be all intelligence driven and uh, my tacticians for both districts will be there to brief them and they will be buddied up with some local police to make sure that they have local knowledge in relation to all the activities. This is an ongoing from the Operation Apollo that we've run for the last month in the Coomera district here every Thursday, Friday and Saturday and where Mr Flory's staff have arrested over 50 people for almost 200 charges in the Coomera, Narang and Mudgerabar areas specifically in relation to antisocial and other behaviour that's being addressed in these areas. When you say antisocial behaviour, what sort of offences are you looking out for? All street type offences, all hooning offences, drink driving offences and any other criminal activity. Unfortunately, in recent times, we've had incidents where people have gone out to investigate disturbances in their streets and people have been stabbed. And this is the sort of activity um, that rolls into serious criminal matters. And, uh, and of course, uh, we will investigate all and the high visibility presence. Uh, and they will start their shift at uh, 6 p.m. and we'll be going right through to tomorrow morning and uh, with the possibility of them being continued on due to our course of service. You're aware we have a major AFL game on tonight at Carrara Stadium and uh, as a result of these major sporting events uh, we do find that we have a, a rather increase in calls for service. Uh, last weekend on the Saturday in the region we had over 600 calls for service in the Saturday 24 hour period which shows that it is very very busy for calls for service. So these extra staff will allow us to address all antisocial behaviour that is taking place um, in the Gold Coast local government area or the Gold Coast City. And how many Yes, one calendar month right. until the end of August. Is that, is that enough, do you think, or can that be reviewed at the end of the time? It'll be reviewed. Certainly we're going to evaluate um, all of the outcomes of Operation Seymour. Uh, 
Look, this is really about the hearts and minds of the Gold Coast. We know that uh, the, the actual figures, the crime figures are showing us a long-term downward trend, but that doesn't help when we have these types of street offences occurring. And so by having a, a surge, having a blitz on uh, antisocial behaviour and the types of unlawful behaviour the Hoons are uh, responsible for, people who, uh, as I said, have no respect for other people's property or their personal safety, we hope that that will bring those bring the, the situation much more back under control in terms of the, the hearts and minds of the community of the Gold Coast, particularly from the perspective that we take this seriously. And the model that we're using for Operation Seymour by bringing police in from other regions is one that we've used many, many times before, either for major events or major issues similar to this throughout Queensland. When you say downward trend, is that in, on the Gold Coast as well? Uh, absolutely. Uh, crime right across the board. Even armed robberies. If you look back over the last 10 years, you'll see that the trend is still downwards. So then, why do we need this extra police? Because there's been a spike in, in antisocial behaviour here. There's been a spike in, uh, certainly, uh, robberies here on the Gold Coast, both armed and armed, uh, unarmed. People are, are afraid. And we want to show them that we're taking that, that fear seriously that we are doing something about it. And this is, as you know, Operation Seymour is only part of a, of a wider package of, a, of initiatives that we're doing to try and address the issues here on the coast. Are their fears legitimate then if there is an overall downward trend? Um, perception can be reality, and I think that that's what's happened here on the coast. That, that, that perception of the fear of crime has been driven uh, by this spike, in particularly in robberies. And we need to address that. And if perception's reality, is the perception of more police the reality that, that perhaps criminals won't offend? Uh, well, certainly, by targeting, by, by specifically targeting the types of people who are responsible for a street crime, for these uh, types of robberies that are occurring, we hope that that will certainly show people that by, by targeting those groups, by putting them before the court where they deserve to be, that we have taken proper action and hopefully reduce that fear of crime that's out there in the community. Is a month long enough to do that? I think it is, absolutely. But as uh, Assistant Commissioner Wilson said, we have some strict criteria that we're looking at in the evaluation, and we will determine towards the end of the month period, we will look at what other strategies that we may need to put in place as a result. How does the shifts work if you've got 50 officers on tonight? Will you be having a rotating shift, and, and how does that work? Will you always have 50 officers on the bed? Uh, Paul, do you want to talk Yeah, to look, that? no, we won't have 50 officers on the beat. What we do is, from our intelligence, we know when our peak times are in relation to any social behaviour, so I won't be having all these officers start at 6 o'clock in the morning. These officers will be strategically rostered um, each day to make sure that we have their maximum amount of officers out on the road to address the issues. They'll be looking at all antisocial behaviour from uh, street offences through to traffic offences through to hooning in particular uh, in relation to drunk and disorderliness um, and uh, issues that are as recently we had disturbances in the street after people affected by alcohol, people coming out to chastise them and unfortunately members of the public being unlawfully wounded or stabbed and therefore this is the sort of uh, activity that we want to nip in the bud and make sure that there is a high visibility presence of police around um, showing little tolerance to anyone that is uh, behaving in, a, in an inappropriate way in the good order of the community. You'll be That's looking it. at the railway and the M1 in that the sense? The railway, the M1, uh, all the shopping centres throughout the days. Uh, we'll be making sure that we're looking at the, the crowds that come from the sporting events, uh, especially the public transport arterials. Um, as you're all aware, it's a very busy uh, as far as uh, hoons and hooning activity, people come down, all that will be addressed. And in particular, drink driving will be well and truly addressed. Major traffic operations, there's a range of operations planned right throughout the region, just with our normal resources, um, from Logan right through to the border, um, tonight and tomorrow night, from my rest of my general duties police and the traffic branch as well. And um, Operation Resolve at the moment, uh, they've arrested two more people in the last couple of days, so um, I think there's nine persons been arrested now, in excess of 50 charges, and uh, that's nine armed robberies that have now been solved since Operation Resolve has commenced here a few weeks ago. I think it's really important to remember that the, the operational police here on the coast have been working very, very hard in relation to all of these matters uh, over the past month. Uh, this, uh, this operation that we're starting tonight uh, simply supplements that great work that's being done and certainly we hope that the community recognises that we take 
their safety seriously. When you, sorry, when you talk about, you know, you were saying before about the hearts and minds, last night we saw a case of a guy thinking he'd been robbed, so we jumped on his car and chased the would-be thieves. Would you say that's a concern? Um, certainly we, we don't ask people to go out of the, their way to do things like occurred with that particular individual. We'd rather them contact us. But look, I can understand why that person who believed that he just that someone was trying to break into his premises took that action to go after them. And unfortunately, it ended up in a crash um, and, a, and a further investigation of the matters. It turned out that those people uh, weren't acting unlawfully, uh, the investigation that was undertaken. So that's the concern that we have. But what we are saying is we need the public to take responsibility, to ring us when they see problems, to let us know. And it's through that level of intelligence that we can better task the extra officers from Operation Seymour. Do you have a warning against like, this vigilante actions? Um, absolutely. We do not condone vigilanteism in any way. Um, it has the potential for people to get very, very seriously hurt or even, or even killed. Uh, that leave, leave the uh, enforcement to the trained officers of the Queensland Police Service. What's your message to the crooks for the next month? Look, um, you can expect to be pulled up. You can expect to be stopped and questioned by police. And if you're doing something wrong, you can expect to be dealt with either by a ticket or be arrested. And that's the bottom line. We're saying to them, obey the law. Let everyone else enjoy uh, the coast and Coomera, enjoy their normal liberties that they have. Uh, don't go out of your way to do something that's going to affect them. And, and you'll be OK. I mean, people have got to understand this is not going to suppress the normal good behaviour of many in our community who go out every Friday and Saturday night just to have a good time but not to do anything unlawful or interfere with the rights of others. But if people do do that, they can expect to be stopped and dealt with by the police. With the 50 extra police on the coast for a month, how much is it going to cost? Um, well, there's a significant cost um, in terms of having the accommodation and because we're actually going to leave them here on the coast, they're actually going to stay down here. Um, but their wages cost... Uh, certainly, they're already covered because it doesn't matter where they're performing policing, those wages are covered. Does it leave other regions uh, a little bit short? No, um, we've been very careful. We're actually taking these officers from four regions and one of our commands, so we've spread the load, and it's only a maximum of 10 out of any one of those other areas. And bearing in mind those other areas have hundreds of police, uh, we don't think it will impact too greatly. And the issue of, the, the issue of weapons being addressed, there has been a concern from residents about the Look, weapons are continually a problem right across Queensland and uh, we certainly understand that. Um, uh, we have a very restrictive weapons licensing policy and process in this state and it's a good one. But uh, police will be on the lookout for firearms, knives, those sorts of weapons, over the, particularly over this next month. Okay, everyone's okay? Yep. The officers are there, right?